what's good with y'all boys man i hope y'all are staying blessed as always and welcome back to a brand new video now in today's video i'm giving y'all the absolute best jump shot for below an 83 pointer now y'all can use this jump shot if you have higher than an 83 pointer i'm just telling y'all i have a 77 tray ball and i'm hitting very very consistently on this so i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all this jump shot at the beginning of this video and then we go go ahead and get a full gameplay of how i'm shooting so without further ado go ahead and drop a like for this banger jump shot and it's my birthday today i ain't gonna lie i turned a big 23 so go ahead and drop a like just for that y'all can spam up happy birthday codes in the comments if you want to if you're feeling generous they ain't nothing crazy though but 23 guys to be the goat year bro and we're going crazy for 2k23 so far so it's just a huge blessing to have you guys support i'm gonna keep putting y'all on with the best sigs the dribble tutorials the best jump shots anything i can find bro i'm gonna get it to y'all as quickly as i can but without further ado let me go ahead and show y'all my exact jump shot i'm built i'm using on this build right now y'all see i wasn't cap i really got a 77 three point rating and this is the jump shot i'm using right here now y'all see the release speed is back to an a plus you need that a plus bro because y'all can tell the shot could test it's pretty crazy this year. They can test you if they're even if they're far away. So you need the fastest jump shot possible to get your jump shot off without it being contested. Now I still got Cal Kuzma base. That's my favorite base in the game right now. It's the most consistent for me. But Trevor Ariza for release one and Danny Green for release two, and having it perfectly blended 39 to 61. Look, look, look. I can't even I can't even go 40 and 40 and 60. I gotta have it 39 and 61 y'all see the a plus release speed and the a defensive immunity so if y'all did make my exact build and you have the 77 tray ball put this jump shot on bro i'm even fading i don't know if the jump shot got something to do with the fades but i'm even fading pretty consistently on this build i'm not gonna lie but don't let the clips speak for it bro i'm gonna put out a full gameplay i got a full gameplay for y'all but like i said drop a like on this video because i'm putting the jump shot at the beginning of the video without wasting any time subscribe to the channel if you haven't already add one more to that sub count i'm, I'm not gonna lie if i can hit 40k i'm recording this vid two days early bro i'm posting this on september 14th my birthday and i'm telling y'all if i can hit 40k on my birthday that'll be a huge blessing so go ahead and check if you're subbed up and if you're not go ahead and subscribe man but i can't thank y'all enough again for the support y'all giving me let's go ahead and get into this game all right, y'all, so I'm just going to be voicing over this full gameplay. I'm not cutting this gameplay up at all, and I even show my stats, or my, yeah, my stats at the end of the video. I'm just going to be voicing over the gameplay, just telling y'all how to, how to improve your shooting percentage. I'm going to go over settings, my settings, the badges I'm rocking, the bad and the good badges, and uh, pretty much just all that, man, all that. So I'm going to start with settings, right? So my settings, I got no vibration and no shot meter, right? Now, no shot meter does give you a boost like every year, but shot meter is valid. It doesn't matter what good jump shot you have on. If you mistime it, it's going to be useless. A lot of new jump shots came out this year. We have only NBA jump shots, and a lot of people are not used to those jump shots, and they feel really different, especially with the delay on park and the, 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 the oh my God, the delay differences between wreck. <laughs> pro am in park bro and career right and career so you got a whole bunch of different latencies there uh and stuff like that oh also for my shot timing i have on early now early is statistically the best one 2k labs did a video said early had the biggest green window on it but i've seen people get, like they they like faster or they like quicker quicker releases so they go very early or maybe you you're used to slower jump shots Maybe you go late on that. I seen, you know, I seen a lockdown in the wreck. He used late and that man did not miss. I also played with a point guard. He had very early and he did not miss. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty much preference, but early is st statistically the best one there. So for most people, early is going to be your best bet. Now for badges, I have on amped green machine, volume, comeback kid, clutch shooter. And I think that's, uh, I have like limitless bronze, right? So for Amped, Amped is a really good badge, especially for me because I'm handling the rock a lot. So I'm going to have low stam. Amped kicks in whenever you're at half stamina or below. And then Green Machine, if, if you don't know, bro, Green Machine is a huge badge this year because you have to green your shots for them to go in. So it's like if you make two, then Green Machine is going to kick in. So you definitely want Green Machine at a high level this year. I also have Volume Shooter because it's a tier one badge and it's pretty budget badge. If I'm shooting a lot. I might as well have volume shooter, especially if you're playing fives or four quarters uh, in the wreck or something. Volume shooter is going to be a badge for you. Now I got comeback kid and clutch shooter on just basically um, because I don't feel like uh, 
or I don't have the badge points to go with the the better ones like the because all my really good shooting badges are in tier three for me as a guard. That's what it is for a lot of people at the guard position. I only have 16 shooting badges after the plus four from you know becoming a starter. So I can't really use like those crazy shooting badges, but my badge setup right now is working out very very well for me now to the next point bro you have to pick good shots bro like it doesn't matter how good your jump shot is your your settings are, can be perfect and, and your badges can be perfect if you're not taking good shots you're not going to shoot a high percentage on this game bro and, and a lot of factors come into that bro you have to be wide open if y'all don't know the contest system is weird bro it's hard to get open for a three they can close out and even if they get a 1%, bro, you it's going to be really, really hard to green it, especially for a low three-pointer. So you have to be wide open. And the movement is a little weird to get open. If, if you guys don't have your, your dribbling down and your movement down, try to watch some tutorials. I have some on the channel, or you can watch whoever else is. Try to get some good sigs and some good movement so you can actually beat your defender and get open for a shot. Because you cannot take twos all day, bro. You cannot take twos if you go up against a really good team. They're going to let you take twos. They're going to get threes, and you're going to lose that game. So definitely get your movement right get, and don't get contested, bro, because they can contest you from far out. Now, you, you, the catch and shoots and corner shots have a higher percent of going in. They have a higher green window that's been like that every 2K. Anything off a of catch and shoot, even without the catch and shoot badge, and anything off the corner, even without the corner specialist badge, those have a higher chance of going in. Those, have a, those are way more easier to time and green. Now, another thing is stamina, bro. You cannot dribble out all of your stamina and then go in and then have no, like be blinking red. Even if you have the amped badge on, you're going to have a lower chance of making that shot. And from, from having low stamina, your, your shot timing is going to be weird. Now, the shot timing being weird and then having your stamina low lowers your chance of shooting it. And, and you got this delay in the park and whatever the, the delay difference is all of that bro you definitely don't want to be messing around shooting with low stamina bro because you you just gotta play it safe you gotta play it safe shooting it's a harder year to shoot bro i don't care who you are this year it is harder to shoot but if you take in, in into consideration everything I, I talked about in this video your shooting percentage will improve i promise you now again if this video helped you guys out at all go ahead and drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already sub up man it's my birthday bro like come on if you made it all the way till the end of the video comment birthday codes are down below so i made it so i know who watched the video the entire way through such a blessing man i can't thank y'all enough for the support again and again and again i'm gonna take my birthday off i'm not gonna lie but when i come back it's straight back to the requested videos that y'all requesting but i love y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video or stream